Good afternoon. Um, I thought you were making some sort of profound statement about yourself there, Dorkling. Uh, oh, let me check I'm using the right mic. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, just got home, so that's good timing. I knew, psychically. Psychically bound to you, Dorkling. <laughs> After all these years, I'm so sorry. Oh, dear. Uh, it's a beautiful whatever day of the week it is. And we're gonna play some Dwarf Fortress. Because this is like a little gap in my busy schedule. I had a very busy, like, ten days. And today I'm free. And I need to clean the house from ten days of neglect. <laughs> And then I've got another bunch of busy days, but that's okay, because we've got time for a little Dwarf Fortress. A little Saturday afternoon Dwarf Fortress. Um, right, video games. So... Oh, I've updated... You'll be, you'll enjoy this, Dorkling. I have updated the rewards, uh, if those are working. It's... I should check. I should check if those are working. I should have updated the stream rewards. Which you can buy with points! It feels a little cheap, but, you know, I want to make it accessible for new viewers while respecting that uh, existing viewers have a lot of coins. So I've limited a bunch of them to, like, one per user per stream, so we'll see how that... if that works. Uh, do I need to find... where's my own Twitch channel? <laughs> Can I, do I have points? Can I, can I buy a reward? I don't want to report myself. Zip coins! Uh, yes! Mandates! Okay, good. It is done. Okay, that appears to work. Good! Uh, cool, let's just let things roll. <laughs> oh, we had a new wave last time. Rico, Mafcalo. Right, so I was gonna revisit some of these labor settings. Uh, so, what do we have? Why am I not using my whole monitor? So many questions. Mafcalo, it you indeed. It you, and very talented you are indeed. That's a lie. I don't see any labors here. Well, actually, you might have the talents, they just might not be enabled. Oh no, it would say. Uh, right, anyway, we're gonna go through... Let's first take a look at mining. I think having Rico be a third miner is acceptable. Carpentry, we've got the... Let's not sort by migration wave. Uh, carpentry, we have two. I don't feel like we need... Well, I mean, two, two carpenters. Cheesemongery. I thought it was a fromagery in Dorkling. Yes, from Marjorie. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to write that down with pen here. And you've reminded me that I didn't put the mandatory text on the reward. Hold on, let's let's add that. Make a little checklist here. Uh, Checkbox. From Marjorie. Uh, Twitch. You know what? We'll leave it for this stream, I'll set it up for the next stream. You, you don't need to sit here while I fix the rewards. Uh, two carpenters seems acceptable. Bow, bowery? Uh, wood cutting, just one wood cutter. Uh, Mefcio. So we should make sure Mefcio doesn't do anything else. That seems acceptable. Um, wood crafting, again, I feel like we maybe only need one. We should check what other labors. Mm. Let's have two wood crafters because Nightmare is also a carpenter and architect. And like just having it as a secondary job, I don't know. Um, what else? I don't want any individual dwarf to have too many labors. I think we should have two masons. So I mean if we only have one, uh, oh that is how I had spelt it, yeah, stop clicking my notes. Hello agnostic! Uh, so if we have too many labours, I want to specialise because then we get masterworks, right? 
But I feel like we should have two dwarves per thing because then if the, the dwarf dies, we still have options, you know? Uh, your dwarf's only skill is setting things on fire. I, I have great respect for you. We're gonna make you a farmer <laughs> as well. <laughs> if that, just if, that, if that's okay, if you don't mind. Anyone who's not got loads of other jobs can be a farmer. Um, let's just hope no one gets injured. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna get rid of our rubbish mechanic. I say we want two dwarves for a lot of things, but Agnostic has a lot of other jobs, so we'll just we'll just not not have that. That's fine. Siege operating, architect. We can leave a lot of this. We don't have any Fisher dwarves. Mm. Although obviously life as a oh I enjoy myself. Thank you, Agnostic. I didn't put the mandatory text on, on the room mandate. Uh, you want a temple. I will add that to my mandate list. Temple. Yeah, I need to add the text thing to that. But otherwise, there we go. To whichever god your name dwarf worships. Done. Agnostics, dwarfs, god. There we go. That seems legible. Uh, right. We've got two children. Ugh, filthy children. Um, what do you do? You're a woodcrafter and nothing else? Okay, I'll tell you what, we'll take Nightmare off. Uh, I'm not going through this in like an orderly fashion. You know what, Math do you want to be a farmer or do you want to be a fisher dwarf? Those are the options I'm giving you. We don't have any fisher dwarves and we do live by a river, so I feel like that could actually be useful. Uh, a 50 Z level statue of cheese is not a mandate. Wait, you're only supposed to be able to do one per stream. Hold on, I am gonna have to change. <laughs> okay, hold on, we're gonna, we're gonna go on my Twitch settings. Do I have? A, a, maybe I didn't set it properly. Uh, viewer rewards, channel points, manage, room mandate. Ah, there we go. I hadn't turned it on. Uh, you're allowed to per one per viewer per stream and you are required to end text. There we go. I fixed it. Good. Uh, yeah, no, we'll, we'll wait a little bit. I've got it written down now, so it will happen. That's the way that things happen. Um, right, yeah, so we're gonna continue the very chaotic look through the dwarf list. I mean, obviously we just, we just see who's idle, right? Who's this guy? You can be a, you can be a fisher dwarf have a little fishing um what if though i just make you a farmer farming it's the way forward uh anyone else idle idle we've enabled farming for them so they're gonna be busy you've got the wood crafting you've got the mining we just need to actually make another pick Uh, the statue would be a room because it would have a revolving tavern in the top floor. Is there anything you can milk to help with the fromagerie? I believe we have goats. Uh, I have not finished their pen, but unless they've been murdered by kobolds at the end of the last one. We should have some- yeah, we have some goats. Pretty sure you can milk goats. Those will be the main uh, milk agriculture things. Do kobolds lactate? Um, let's not get into this again. The last, the last stream was bad enough. No. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, I think I'm happy with my chaotic allocation of labors. So what we're gonna do is build a floor. This like takes weird priority. Uh, 
so <laughs> maybe we won't build like the whole floor. Oh, I see, we run out of, right. So we have to chop down trees. We have allocated the trees to be chopped down. Do some up here. I don't want to end up with dwarves in the river if we can avoid it. It's not particularly good for their health. Um, so once we finished that section there, oh, we need to, I don't think we built a lever. Build trap, lever, oh, we have a lever. But where, there, is it linked to anything? We're gonna, I don't think it's linked to the bridge. So we're gonna do that. And if it is, I don't know what double linking it does, but it's probably fine. Maybe we should build a bridge. I see dwarves just walking across the river. Uh, let's, let's build a bridge. It doesn't need to be a particularly defensive bridge, it can just be like a functional little bridge. This and this, good. Don't think you can link a lever to the same thing twice. Yes, I see. A lever can't link to bridge one twice. So that is how we find out what they're linked to. That's good, because it's not like I use notes or anything useful. Um, Right, more trees should be chopped down. A masterpiece door, you shouldn't have. Uh, build, do we have chairs yet? No. Just put that masterpiece door somewhere. Oh, we have a bunch of doors, I see. Uh, this appears to be some sort of crafting hall and this it appears to be some sort of bedrooms. Interesting by me. Uh, I have no memory of what the room at the bottom there is supposed to be. So that's fun. Uh... <laughs> no, I've got, I've got no clue. Does anyone know what that was supposed to be? Your room, uh, you think. Uh, I mean, that sounds fake, agnostic, but if I don't come up with any other use for it, then I, I guess I guess that's what it, I feel like it, it's not a bedroom because I would have done a one by one door if it was a bedroom. How about it? <laughs> now, I, not that you would lie to me, but <laughs> do you think maybe it actually isn't your bedroom? I say that, but I can't remember what it is. Maybe we could use that as the uh, the temple agnostic. You know, I mean, I know it'd be a bit of a rudimentary temple, but it's a start, right? Uh, bed. Do we have beds queued? Uh, we do. But we probably need more. Let's make like 20 beds. And we will have this be the temple. Uh, could the fromagerie be a temple to cheese? Yeah. You've you haven't been very specific in the fromagerie, so we'll we're gonna leave it up to artists' interpretation. Uh, I am obviously the artist, so we'll see. We'll see what I'm vibing with at the time. Uh, so temples are now. I'm a little rusty on this. They are meeting zones, I believe. Why? Why is my desk wet? What? It's, it's fine, it's fine. Location, uh, add location. Oh, we'll need to check your dwarf first. Agnostic, uh, view unit. Oh, kills, what you got? The kobold, nice. Uh, Adil is your deity. Male dwarf associated with mountains. Um, it's not, it's not that you're basic. But maybe you're a, a little basic, like, just, I mean, and that's okay. It's okay to be me. <laughs> uh, right, temple to Adil. 
Lovely. And we'll dig out these two little pillars. Don't need them. Oh, really getting on with the masterpieces now. Uh, so we have a little bit of ore. Um, I'm gonna wait till the workshop area is dug out properly before I do anything else. I could really do with some more trees being chopped down. What's the woodcutter? Oh, I, I mean, I see some wood there. The old construction floor. Do we have access to it? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm not gonna sneeze. <laughs> that was immensely disappointing. Uh, yeah, floor. So we'll go do like another little section. I want a little overhang because I know stuff is like a little bit janky about moving diagonally through floors. And the concept is that this is secure. Oh no, we don't quite have that. We will not be doing that yet. Uh, so you want to visit the fromagerie, so you need a viewing area, a gift shop. We're really getting outside the realms of one room, Dorkling. Make it into an inn? It's a temple. Look, they love it. They love the temple. Uh, we should... Do we have, like... Maybe we'll make some statues? I don't know. Something nice. Oh, the fromagerie. I suppose the fromagerie could be, yes. Sounds acceptable. Uh, right. We've got the bins. That's fairly successful. Yeah, weirdly being restricted by the, the chopping down trees situation. I mean, what's our, what's our woodcutter doing? If I read, we've got five idlers. What's this? Uh, five idlers. So if we just check what the idlers are, they're agnostic, who is fair enough. Agnostic has a, a good chance of being idle because he's just the forger. Um, and we will get on with that shortly so we can get the extra pickaxe for Rico. Although it looks like he's found a pickaxe. Dig, you're digging, you're digging. So I guess he brought one with him. Still, we should get uh, metal working up and running. What happens if you try and make alcohol from cheese? That's like, that sounds like something uh, you should experiment with and post on Discord. Um, who else is idle? So Ian is idle because he just does farming and cooking and brewing. So we should check that we've got the cooking and brewing orders underway. Aiden here, uh, again, doesn't do a lot. Why don't you gather plants? That seems good. We should have someone gathering plants. Um, Lolor, you... Well, I had you on farming, so let's not have you on farming. And let us instead have you on plant gathering as well. And farming. That'll keep you busy. Um, although do we actually need this this many farmers as we have? Like clearly not, so maybe I should, maybe you need a different career. I, are we okay for food? Ish. <laughs> uh, 75 drink, it, it's fine. <laughs> maybe we want fishing. I feel like fishing is a lot of work though. And ultimately we're going to be damming the river so I don't particularly want that. Uh, yeah I guess you can just hang out for now. That seems fine. Uh, who else? Dorkling's making stuff. Monom here. Wood crafting. I don't really want to use up all our wood. Oh, I was going to check uh, what's the woodcutter doing, Mefcio. Harvesting plants? Why is Mefcio harvesting plants? Oh, is it all dwarves harvest? Is that... Uh, is that like a status thing? 
no. Uh, sorry, what was that about cheese wine? Make booze from the whey and turn the rest into cheese. Uh, other people infuse cheese in spirits. I mean, it sounds very unpleasant to me. Oh my goodness. Hey, Yitab, just got to your message. Hello. How's a long live the overlady and my servitude to her? Excellent. Thank you for pledging your allegiance once again. Uh, would you like to die in this fortress, Yitab? <laughs> The question is mostly, uh, what happens if you try and make alcohol from cheese? Uh, and I think the answer is something like, it depends on the method that is used. Right, uh, build bed. Let's get these bedrooms underway, because we need bedrooms. That's just, that's it. That's the whole thing. Um, don't think you can have your fortress. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. Uh... I need to keep the camels outside. Have we cut down? <laughs> I just... Oh, yeah, okay, that looks like enough trees. Okay, build, construct, floor. I'm just really determined to like, actually get this a bit done. Okay, good. Cause once we've uh, finished building the floor here, that uh, we'll be able to get all the animals inside which will mean that our goats are secure which means our cheese is secure <laughs> you could cook with cheese and booze though potentially uh, although I do need to ban the cooking of booze if that's just if that's enabled Basically, if you if you can brew with it, then brew with it. I, I feel like that's the priority. Uh, on that note, we should check that we have currently got the order to brew and the order to it, it, lavish meals, whatever. It's fine. And they can do that as long as they're interested. Everyone should be busy. I could, like, change the job priority so that high value, well, not high, I mean, they're all equally valuable in my eyes, but some, some dwarves are more equal than others. And the dwarves that are more equal, maybe we don't want building the floors. Yes, I'm with you, agnostic. I don't think I've missed any, uh, unless it looks like I have. Oh, the seeds as well. Yeah, drinks, yeah, don't cook with them. And I think that's that. You would love to join the Magnificent Fortress, wonderful. Uh, who do we have that's not named? We have uh, a child. We have this guy who doesn't really do anything, so I guess you can choose a career for yourself. This guy, Master Mason uh, and Engraver, so that's pretty good. Uh, this guy, a bit of a layabout. Um, this guy is a wood crafter. And this one is a carpenter. Dragon Slayer. <laughs> are any of them military? I don't think we've got... Oh, this guy's a bit military. None of them are, like, particularly impressive, though. Maybe Hunter? The, the thing you need to remember though, Agnostic, is that I never know how to make functioning militaries in this game. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, do we have any more nest boxes? We do. Another miner is good, slay the stone. Very true. You want to be a layabout. Lovely. Uh, I believe this guy is a bit of a layabout. So we will do that. Yeah. Is it capitalized? <laughs> I just started capitalizing it. You've retired after Dragon Slayer. I mean, fair enough, though. <laughs> uh, right. 
Uh, so it didn't like, let's see if we can do fine meals maybe. We can do chairs. Chairs, chairs, yes. Which means we'll be able to make this a dining room properly. And that's a, a meeting hall. Yeah. <laughs> Eat dabs. Oh, it's perfect, Mafcalo. It's perfect. However, I am too lazy to go back and change what I have done. Uh, ooh, is this? Are these fruit trees? Apricots. If only I I knew how to gather fruit from the trees and the ground. Uh, if I make a zone, right, that that covers these trees. Gather, pick fruit. Pick fruit from trees, pick berries, pull tubers, gather full of fruit. Yeah, let's try setting that up and see see how that goes. I mean, it seems to produce a lot of fruit. Oh, we should uh, queue step ladder, wooden step ladder five, if we're gonna be doing that. Yeah, I mean, it seems like there's a tremendous amount of food on the ground. It's just whether or not the dwarves will actually gather it that I'm not sure about. Uh, right, build construction floor. Get this done. Up, 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 up. I need to cut down that tree. So we'll just do like this much. Ash, willow. Good. Cut that down. Do we need plant gathering assigned? Uh, right. We have a little bit of plant gathering. I kind of want to get the farmers that don't do anything except farming to double up on plant gathering, I think. Because there's really no reason we shouldn't have a bunch of get plant gatherers. It's food. It's not like food expires in this game. Uh, is there anyone? Oh, right. Uh, our, our uses lay about. Yeet dab! Yeet dab, how would you feel about gathering plants? Nothing strenuous. You know, you just. It's like going for a little walk every day, you know? Have a little forage. Uh, eat a little bit of what you find. I think that's totally acceptable. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't chop down like all the trees if they're if they're giving us fruit. I don't know though. The Baroness Consort. Interesting. Um I don't know what we've made to trade. We don't have a broker. Uh right, let's see if anyone is talented enough to be a, a broker. Well, this guy's Top, top of the list. So there you go. Monom. Congratulations. Uh, and then what we will do is we will start moving goods. Uh, so I feel like we made some miscellaneous crafts. That is my belief. We can sell some buckets. We can just sell some like some nice stuff. Maybe they want some of our doors. We've got some doors. Uh, select craft. No, I thought we were making crafts. Uh, door. Do you want to buy a door? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get these. These. Beautiful. Uh, cool. We'll see what they've got. Maybe we can queue, like, wooden... So at least next time we've got some. Some apricot jelly. Interesting. Yeah, have, have a little forage, make a little forage porridge. Do you get it? World is the same as ever. Uh, I don't want any of it. Yeah. Uh, so they're gonna want earrings, crowns, uh, tanned hides. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't we just go all in on earrings, right? <laughs> Powder. Interesting. Um, 
so let's go manager right remove that Q uh, earrings can we make rock and wooden earrings okay we'll make 50 of them Q wooden earrings make 50 of them good that'll be us sorted for next time and any of our dwarves that want to wear earrings uh, right let's get the trader we don't have the best stuff to trade, but that's okay. <laughs> what's what's here? These walnuts. Get some barrels, make another 30. Right. Trader? Trader? Lovely. Uh, trade. Okay, yeah, we don't have particular value here, but we'll see. Um, we are gonna start doing metal stuff soon, but I mean, we don't have loads of money. Mm. Like, rope is annoying and I don't really bother, so maybe that's what we want. Oh, any interesting animals? Peacock, reindeer cow, peahen, turkey gobbler. Do not need turkeys. That is the last thing we need. Dingo blood barrel. Go on. All right then. Uh, what else? Beetle ickle, maybe not. Uh, we could have some weapons. No, we couldn't. Not for those prices, we couldn't. Uh, maybe we just don't have too much this time and then next time we like actually get stuff. I, I mean, I want to, we don't have food to sell. Oh, good point. Hold on. Uh, let's bring food. food. Prepared food barrel. Yeah, we'll bring all of them and see how much they're all worth. I think I was making lavish meals. Also, hey Rico! <laughs> we don't have any bone crafting particularly. We haven't really been hunting, butchering, all that good stuff. We have not yet started. Um, oh, we should build stockpiles. Let's get finished goods. I feel like I should I should set this up in a more, sp ah, it's fine. I want to do something where there's like workshops and then there's the stockpiles that feed the workshops and then there's the finished stuff stockpile. I feel like there's like a nice way we could do it but uh, I could just not. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's build some workshops, right? So we'll get a uh, carpenter's workshop. That's like obvious, basic. And we can put that, maybe, maybe we put that here. Oh, hold on. I'm get, getting like a design vision. <laughs> uh, three. We could do something like that. So we've got the, the drop, well, we don't need the drop off stockpile to be that big. So if we build a workshop, for example, the carpenter's workshop, we could have like a little bit where they drop off the wood and then the workshop and then like a stockpile for finished stuff nearby. We're going to need extra storage. I think that's okay. Uh, craft stuff's workshop will have one here. And then probably another one because we might want a lot of stuff from that. We will want a mason's and we will make a stockpile for stone to go next to the mason's workshop. All around and then we will have, I think we'll do stone for this one. Need that stone. And then we'll do wood. And then we'll do 
liquid, something like that. Oh, hold on. Stores, workshops, finished stores. Ah, uh, I get what you're saying with stairs. Hold on. Stairs are- uh, but I've built above and below, so I don't think we can do stairs. As efficient as stairs are, I have not allowed space for them. But I get what you're saying. It's, it's much more efficient in terms of walking if we use stairs. Um... I'll put a custom stockpile for finished stuff at the back. So, not animals, not food. Yes, furniture, bath, box, gems, finished goods. Uh, leather. No, no. Sheet. So, something like that. Let me just put it at the back. I think that's okay. I think that's fine. Um, maybe on the other side we can have some vertical stuff storage. Or well, actually, what if? I'm not. I'm not happy with how I've designed this. Sorry, we'll get, we'll get there. <laughs> what if? We do something like, so my custom stockpile, I think needs to be relatively large. So we'll build that down here and make it relatively large. And then on the other side, we'll do something like wood for the first bit. Then we'll do some stone for like this, this chunk. And then we'll do custom, oh, we'll have gems, for like one. Uh, we will do a custom stockpile for, not that. We will do metal ores, economic, disable, no, not disable, uh, it's forbid and forbid. So we can get metal ores here. I think that's fine, yeah. Um, oh, I should have got rid of these first though. Uh, can I expand this or, or no? I just, I just go over it. Like that. Is that, is that messed it up entirely? Oh, that's jank, yeah, okay. Stockpile, remove the stockpile. And we'll try again, we'll have wood for the first like two up to this sort of line. And then we will have stone here. And now we can build, not that. Why is there a goat in here? Workshops, so carpenters, we will do here. Is that good? Do I like that? I think I like that. Uh, Craftsdorfs, maybe we only do one. Uh, Mason can go here. There's still the siege one, like the engineering one. Where's that? Mechanic? We should do mechanic. Um, gem cutters? I don't think we have any gems or any gem cutters, but we're still going to do the jeweler's workshop and get it built. Uh, now I put metal ore there, but I think maybe we'll put the forges separately actually, because I don't know, because I say so. So that goes up to there. Uh, so what should we put instead? Uh, we could process like bones and corpses and stuff, but again, I feel like we'll end up doing that separately. Um, Oh, make sure they have uh, wheelbarrows assigned. Yeah, that's a good shout. Forge will need a supporting smelter and furnace. Yeah, I think we should put the forges somewhere separate for that reason. And ultimately we'll move them down once we find magma. Uh, that's like a good component. I don't know. 
I think we'll just do more stone. Seems fine. We can come back and add more to this. Uh, in which case we should make the forge area. Which can go on this side. And for this we can maybe have a bit more of a, a logical flow to it than the last area. So we could have like a wood stockpile. Okay, well, let's have this, this be a, a corridor. Um, so we have a wood stockpile here. Decent size. And then we can go down to, well, actually for efficiency, right? Should be close to the, the end. It doesn't need to be huge necessarily. So we have that, and then we have, this is where the wood burners will be. So there's the wood burners, and then there's the, the stockpile the wood burner deposits into, which is for the charcoal. I feel like we're going to run out of wood on this map really fast. And then we will have uh, wood or bar metal finished. Yeah, something like that. So... Uh, yeah, I guess we could set up soap. I never bother with soap, but like actually I, th I think it's worthwhile, isn't it? Um, ash lye tallow soap. I have done it before and my dwarves were all very excited about it because it was like 10 years into a fortress, so they were all filthy. Uh, I've, I've been bamboozled now. So yeah, we'll get the charcoal here. So then we need to have the or stockpile in this room along with the the things and then we'll have we'll store our finished metal bars down here and I think that's all we'll worry about for now because we still need to get the, the metal bars good for hospitals too very true we should build a hospital <laughs> uses wood stores then bars Soap is a necessity? What if just everyone that gets an infection dies? That works. Oh no, a mandate! A thousand blocks of soap. All right, let's go. Writing it down. Thousand blocks soap. At least he can only do one a stream. <laughs> I'm gonna cross off the temple, although I do intend to uh, pretty it up a little bit at some point. Very popular, this temple. Uh, right, we need to put the goats in here, so... Designate, remove construction. Where's my cursor? There's my cursor! Uh, right, so we're gonna remove this. We're gonna make a pen here. And this will be where the goats live. That's... that doesn't look right. What am I doing? I'm, I'm having a moment. Uh, something that, that looks a bit tidier. So then we'll add pen pasture, which will be for the goats, so they don't starve themselves out of stupidity. Horse, uh, I guess horse. Camel, puppy, no, alpaca, yet. Yeah. Where did we get a alpaca? I guess it came with the immigrants. And some more goats. You, you ate the soap? Oh no! Ignore the mandate! Hold on, which mandate? Was that the, uh, a thousand... Was that the... Thousand blocks of soap? Well, I mean, it doesn't say cancel someone else's mandate. It says, it says it's a room mandate. But you know what? I'm sold. We'll cancel. We're gonna cancel the mandate for a thousand blocks of soap. I might make soap anyway, but it will not be mandated. 
You gotta go berserk if the mandate is not met. Looking forward to it. Uh, right, I forgot about the trading. We need to trade. Oh, yeah, now, mmm. Mmm. Hold on, let's just, uh... You know what, just, just... Just remove the earring thing. Just forget about the earrings, because I've... I've been enlightened. <laughs> I'd forgotten how much cooked food was worth. Uh, oh, and yes, we need to know the metal ores that we have. Um, is that somewhere in status? Like, stocks? Something like stone or ore? Stones. Rhyolite. Copper nuggets. Horn blend. So I think it's just the copper that we can do something with. Yeah, only copper at the moment, so... Hmm. There might be some more here as well. Well, I, I mean... You didn't use the room mandate! There's no room mandate, but I'll tell you what, we can make a statue. We'll just, we'll make a, okay, hold on. Yeet Dab Dragon Statue. Yeet Dab Dragon Statue. Okay. Copper is good, not great, but good. Uh, yeah, copper's certainly a start, isn't it? Uh, let's try and buy some decent weapons because we have nothing resembling a military. Maybe the next wave of migrants I will focus on recruiting to like a bit of a military. Um, I will take some alcohol, because why wouldn't I? We'll take this. Yeah, we'll sell, sell that. Mm. Zinc cage, guinea hen, nah, goose, nah. Reindeer cow, not really. Uh, you used it the first time, so now you're using that to cancel it out. Hold on, don't think, I swear you're only supposed to be able to mandate one thing per stream. I'm gonna be overwhelmed. Adamantine. Now, um, the thing is, when you request something made of adamantine, you are gonna have to wait a while. I didn't cancel the first. Anyway. <laughs> I don't want to spend my whole stream micromanaging mandates. You behave, you lot. <laughs> uh, right. So yeah, let's try getting silver maces are good. I know that from my brain. Uh, copper pick I'm going to get just in case we get another miner. Um, copper mace does not spark joy. Steel spear does spark joy. Bronze battle axe that sparks a joy. Uh, iron picks. I mean, we could use the picks as weapons, but. <laughs> Hi, Satatus! <laughs> Uh, right, let's see. Uh, copper bucklers and shields, that sounds good. I just want to, like, get these in storage so I don't have to think too hard for a while about military equipment. Um, we will add this. 2,000 profit, that sounds fine. We could throw in a little more for that. Let's get a helmet. Let's get these bronze caps as well. I know they're not, like, good, but they're not bad, and they're, they're something, right? Uh, let's see if they'll trade. Yes! Right, good. I will take some iron picks as well in exchange for these three. Oh, they're making a loss. Can I do it for these? No. Can we do, like, one of them? 
good. <laughs> I know that from my brain. Cogito ergo sum. See the prophet in the bottom left. Yes, I just try and be like unreasonably generous uh, because I, I don't want to deal with anything else. Uh, right, let's get a cloth bin because I'm too lazy to craft my own cloth. Biggest service the traders provide, really. Uh, and then we'll keep the last prepared food barrel because I don't want to trade all that way. Didn't know speak French. Neither did I. There we go. <laughs> if only it was French. Uh, we could grab a spare anvil, and I'm not entirely opposed to that. All this junk that I don't need in my life. We will get some thread, right? I know this from previous bad experiences that I should buy thread. I don't want to talk about it, but that's where we're at. Uh, oh, cheese. Now, we should collect a variety of cheese for the fromagerie. We are going to have to forbid it. Uh, I don't really know how to micromanage it into, like, the right barrel. Ooh, a book! Life with the Fort. Hold on. Lion Parchment Scroll. A human... in furnace barbs in order to be with a master. Writing is depressing, and the prose is amateurish. Sold! What about the mountain home might help? <laughs> Written on the item is a guide entitled The Mountain Home Might Help, authored by Nagom Spiderhawks. It's about the fortress Lantern Plat. Writing is reasonably serious, and the prose is not awful, but not very good either. Sold. Absolutely sold. Oh no, I accidentally deselected it. That's okay, you can do it now. Life at the fort, mountain home might help. We'll get a little selection of cheeses. It's inferior, oh, it's inferior quality cheese, not like the cheese we will make here. Okay, that's fine. Get thread, make cloth, make clothing out of my cloth for happy dwarves. Rico, you've seen me play this game. <laughs> happy dwarves. Uh, we are gonna get thread though. But I am just gonna buy the cloth straight up. Get a patch of pigtail growing. Yeah, I, sh I should... No, you're right. I'll tell you what. We will set up like a little cloth making, auto weaving situation. I was being lazy. <laughs> but we should do it now and then I won't have to worry about it. Oh, you want more? Let's see. This much? Good. Uh, why does it say combat? A child is fighting a giant Kia. This is a fight. I feel no terror. Um, where is this happening? Is this happening now? No. Okay. So this just happened and I didn't notice. That's fine. Let's build a hospital, everyone. <laughs> Let's build our hospital here. I feel like it should be near the main staircase. And we'll make it just a nice square room. Mmm, squares. I, I don't know, I feel like I should make it a more interesting shape. Now it looks like a kidney! How appropriate for a hospital. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It can wait till year two. Uh, we're, we're not that far off. <laughs> Not that far off here, too. Um, right, I'll tell you what, at the end... Hmm. We will build here another little room for the farming. We'll set up uh, a process and then we can go with a downstair over here. Upstairs there. That should work out. And uh, so here is where they will grow the pigtails. And then we will have a little room where they can place the pigtails and they will be woven into cloth. That will be the entire function of the room. We'll connect it up. 
So we've got another root. Although that might make... Mm, I shouldn't build fortresses like that because that will make performance worse. It can just be there. And that's fine for now. Uh, let's see. If we create a new military, you want to be its leader or the instructor. We will see if your skills are to match. Stone kidney. Dwarves. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, Citatus. is a bold assumption. We're not there yet. So, uh, right. Unit manager Q. Statue. We're gonna make a rock statue. One. And we will be looking at the details. We're gonna specify the image. So, this is gonna be Yeet Dab killing a dragon. It's going to be powerful emotionally evocative uh so historical figure filter this use this option what 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 I've, I've got stuck somewhere uh oh right i need to specify a new image there we go uh historical figure now we filter yeet dab Use this option. First soldier group named the dragon eater. Yep, let me write it down. First squad. Dragon eater. You're gonna come out of retirement, Yeet Dab. <laughs> uh, right, so Yeet Dab, and we will have a dragon do you want to specify the gender of the dragon i think we'll just go for a a dragon one dragon then we will add an action let's see uh being flayed being mutilated there's so many options this reminds me of, uh, <laughs> so this is a tangent. Uh, when I did like Latin at school, they have like a million words for death and murder. Like this person killed, there's so many words for it. And um, I feel like the dwarven language like is the same. Like smeared out into a spiral is definitely just like one, <laughs> one word. Are we jinxing things so we're attacked by dragons? If we do get attacked by a dragon, Yeet Dab will strike them down. <laughs> as he has done before. Uh, anyway. We'll just do striking down. Yeah. So, oh, not the dragon. Yeet Dab is striking down the dragon. That's it. That's it. Done. Uh, change name. The figure of harvesters. Perfect. Done. So that should work. Let's uh, existing image, figure of harvesters, group commission. Yes, good, right. My Latin pronunciation seemed on point. Thank you. As much as as Latin ever is. <laughs> uh, right. Let's free the broker from the trade depot because I think we're done. So let's. Yeah, that's no trade requested. Run free! And um, we still need to finish this floor here. And that's quite important for fortress security. As someone who has had experiences with fortress security in the past, it is important to me that my fortress is secure, especially because I do not know how militaries work. <laughs> I build them, they die, that's it. In the north of England, we don't get Latin lessons. We just get coal mining and pie eating. And uh, let's not forget, standing around a, a portrait of Margaret Thatcher for the, you know, 10 minutes hate. Was it 10 minutes hate or 5 minutes hate? It's fair enough, though. <laughs> uh, oh, the rock statue's been completed. Should we put it in the temple? I think we should put it in the temple. Oh, no. It's not been completed. Where is it? Statue. That's a squad. That's not that's a squad. No! More hate for extra credit? Cute. 
I knew I liked the north. <laughs> so dark though. Uh, right. These should be getting mined out. I don't think I've done anything to upset the miners with that. Um, Ian with the masterpiece cooking. Where's my statue? Is it in one of these buildings and not been hauled? Where? Where is statue? You give the pointy sticks to the expendable dwarf, get the drunk, get them drunk, and point them at the nearest goblin. That's how we defeated the last batch of goblins, and you know what? It really worked for us. It says the statue's finished construction. Is it where? Where? Where is my statue? I d <laughs> Manager! Where is the statue, manager? Okay, maybe I just calm down a minute because someone's hauling it. Yeah, it's probably being carried to the stockpile. I'm just unreasonably keen. Statue of a magnificent cheese from the fromagerie. Once we've built the fromagerie, you will have to commission it, Dorkling, with a mandate. Yeah. Uh, I do live in the very north. Yes, it is a shock. I may get one of those sad lamps. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't, I don't know. I haven't decided. Um, I feel like I need one because I get sad. Uh, right, I think we expand this. Let's uh, just just fill the interior here, shall we? That seems fine. They need the extra space. Have they added enemies that can dig through walls yet? You know what, don't tell me. It'll, it'll be more fun if I don't know. Uh, oh, not that. Um, right, so we're expanding the room and I think we're gonna slap a door on this. I mean, gently place, oh, there is a door. Uh, so we're gonna make that not for pets. Oh, the lamp is crying, no! That's Dungeon Keeper. Dig, no, break constructed objects like doors? Yes. Ah, breaking doors. That's gonna, that's gonna mess me up. <laughs> that's illegal, they're not allowed to do that. Uh, right. We will see. I mean, we've got like no idlers, which feels like it should be a good thing, but I don't think it is. Um, Oh, do we have more beds? We do. Let's furnish some bedrooms. Beds, beds. We're at beds. Uh, doors for the bedrooms. Luxury! Absolute luxury! Imagine having doors for your bedrooms. You can use raising bridges of doors that are indestructible. Yeah, we've got one of them at the front. Um, but it's a shame I can't just forbid a door. <laughs> like, slap a no entry sign on it and they'll be like, ah, oh, can't go through the door. <laughs> it's, it's not allowed. Uh, merchants are leaving soon. That's totally acceptable. I guess we could try and, and start a military. I don't think we have like anyone with any skills except that guy. We'll wait for the next wave because I'll want them to spend time training. We don't have a barracks yet. Seems too soon. Yeah, staff only sign and then the goblin the goblin army's like, oh I'm sorry guys. I didn't realise it was staff only. I'm not staff. It's not allowed. But so that's fine. So I think it's probably for the best that they change that. <laughs> not been keeping up with the news. Look at all the fish we could be eating. But we are not. Uh, build bed. No more beds. Build statue. <gasps> Here it is. Now, I don't want to put it in the middle of the temple because um, I feel like that could be offensive because we're not worshipping Yeet Dab here. It's just Yeet Dab happens to be in the temple. So we'll just, we'll just pop it there. That seems nice. 
Uh, oh, and I'll tell you what, when we've got time, let's smooth stone just just for this floor. Let's, let's make this look a little nicer. Except for these bedrooms that are in dirt, uh, which obviously do not look nice. Uh, a child. The only bedroom in the fortress goes to a child. I guess that's probably how it should be, isn't it? Like, I was gonna be like, a child? But they are small and weak. <laughs> but actually, <laughs> that's probably a good thing, you know, because they're a child. <laughs> Children are allowed bedrooms, that seems fine. Uh, oh, we should add the baby turkeys, because they seem sad. Oh, no, they're on their way in. Why doesn't the large dwarf simply eat the smaller one? Exactly! I don't understand why I must suffer the children to live. Uh, looks like there's no goods in the thing left. Right, that's good. Lovely. Oh look, they've actually collected some of the fruit. Oh my goodness. Do we have like apricots? Can we make some sort of apricot wine? Sewer brew. That's not what I signed up for. We probably cooked them all. Still, very cute that they've managed to harvest some. I'm delighted. <laughs> uh, oh, great chairs. Build chair. We really need like a nice big meeting room, don't we? Um. Uh, we should just build a new floor for it. Up down staircase. This this whole floor can be meeting room. So we'll go out like that. Out like that. Out like that. And down like this maybe. Oh actually, you know what? Let's um have the staircase be like off to the side in relation to the larger room. Like that and that. We'll go like this. One, two. Oh, didn't do right. There we go. Um, we'll just make it like a, a, a spiky. Let's make a, a spiky shape. That seems fine. It's gonna take me a minute. Beautiful. Uh, we will need some supports so this does not collapse. But that's fine, that's quite achievable. I'm really glad that was an odd number because I wasn't counting. Uh, uh. Need Dorkling and his Rimworld skills <laughs> to make a beautiful fortress. I try, you know. But also, Square would have taken much less time been much more efficient generally all right there we go um i'll probably set this as like a, a tavern legally something like that is it is that symmetrical possibly two three four five so if i do one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe this? I, I don't I don't think I don't think that's so much of that. I do think Oh no, that really isn't. That <laughs> Okay. At first it looked like a pie. Oh, hold on, that's a whole new concept. Looking like a pie. Should we make a pie chart meeting room? 
Hold on, that's a whole vibe right there. Delicious pie. I'm sold. Uh, you know what? We'll just we'll just draw it. We'll just use the MS Paint skills to make to make his pie. We should cut a portion of the pie out. Someone has eaten some of the pie. Need to fill it in. Get some blackbirds, put them in the middle. Lovely. You can have delicious, exactly, mining, pie eating. I don't really know what supports would make this look more like a pie, but we'll, we'll just do this. <laughs> we'll do this much and that'll be fine. Go up down. Oh, not like that. I went over the lines. There we go. Nice Pac-Man room. No door playing. Used here for the artwork, thank you Chop for Seal. We'll get back in paint next time we uh, need schematics, don't you worry. Always here for the paint art. Ah, lovely. So, I guess this is... Uh, is this a pie? Is this a pie chart? I don't know. But that's okay. <laughs> is it Pac-Man? It's... It's open to artistic interpretation, that's what we're going to call it. This is going to be our meeting room! Lovely. What is that child holding? Is that seeds? Child, what are you holding? Child? Hmm. Seems a little suspicious. <laughs> what are you- oh, you're playing make-believe. Oh, you know what, that's cute. That's fine. Don't bury our dead and it'll fill with ghosts. Should we make like a, a Pac-Man moment? <laughs> should, we, should we make like a little maze? Put ghosts in it? Should we do that? Sounds like something someone's gonna need to mandate and you've all used yours up. Haha! Uh, some migrants have arrived. Ah, I said I would recruit our army from these migrants. So that's quite useful. Um, could technically begin the fromagerie. I have sort of artistic visions of the fromagerie being like a little bit grand, you know? But uh, actually, what if we just build the fromagerie like here? <laughs> just with like clay walls. It's fine. Um, maybe we'll be able to get some, some windows if we buy glass from the traders next time. I don't believe we have any sand. Coffins for the dots and name them dragon eaters. Yes, I have not forgotten. Uh, so. Uh, I'll wait till they've, oh no, I did, oh no. Oh no, there we go. I'll wait till the migrants have fully arrived. I guess. Just let it roll. Read. And we will sort by migration wave. Uh, so, none of them have military skills, but that's fine. We're just going to recruit them to the army and let them train if they haven't got anything else useful going on. For example, this person and his wax working. Uh, you're gonna be in the army. Assigned to squad. We'll make a, a squad. Military. So we'll disband that. Create squad. I think no uniform? How do you... I've forgotten how to set up... Uh, squads. Like, I just want them to use their own uniform. You know, whatever appeals. Uh, Yidab wants to be the leader. Uh, and that's, that's all we need for the start. So. 
assign to the keys of elevating. Right, I need to rename it. That was the thing. Name squad. Dragon Eater. Beautiful. Now, uh, do you do anything else useful? You are a chef. Not anymore. Why don't you join the squad? Uh, what do you do? Wood burning, bone carving. Yeah, we might keep you around to, to do some bone carving. You can join the squad. Booyah. I don't particularly have use for you, so you can join the squad. Wait, who's got 16? Did I see a 16? Clothes making 16! My goodness! Okay. That's nice. Leather working 10. You're not in the squad. Okay, so we've got a few people. More of a crystal glass complex. So not like a, a clay hole in the wall is what you're saying. We the thing is though, if I build a little a little room here, even if it's not Dorkling's fromagerie experience, uh, that I know you want. I think it might be useful to get your cheese making skill up. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build a little room here. The the starter from Marjorie. Yes. And you know, we might be able to get some windows. We can redo the walls. We can make it a thing. The miners really have a lot of work to do. I guess they're just busy. Yeah, drink. Lots of plant gathering. Yeah, yeah it could be, it'd be like chic. Certainly we can begin the cheese making process there. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll just, we'll make it a little bit more like this. So when we put some windows in, it'll be fancy. So we'll do like a, we can maybe put a window to the main corridor so that the dwarves can stop in, but we also need windows so you can, you can see all the animals, you know? Uh, so we're gonna need the farmer's workshop, which can happen in here. Uh, then we'll want a milk stockpile, and I believe cheese making happens at the farmer's workshop, so that should be relatively straightforward. So we'll start with an arrangement like that. Make some copper picks and assign some more folks? I want to, but um, I'm quite aware that normally by like the mid game I have nothing for the miners to do. <laughs> I don't want to end up with them, like, having no jobs. Because I've got, like, nothing left to, to do. Need buckets for milk. We do have buckets, but let's queue up, uh, like, five more wooden buckets. And chop down some more trees. Retired miners are excellent soldiers. Ah, uh, that's true. Yeah, you know what? I'm sold. Uh, we need them to mine out the smelting area, though. Oh, I bought some more, another pickaxe, didn't I? So we can assign one more miner. Uh, so let's assign. What do you do? Stone crafting. A little bit of setting bones. A little bit of beekeeping. A lot of beekeepers and wax workers in the last wave. Like, the, the game's trying to tell me something. Well, you can be a miner. That seems fine. Now, ultimately, we're gonna obviously build a dam. We're gonna do some experiments and probably be underwhelmed.
But we have got endless water here, and that means we can have all sorts of fun. <laughs> We've had previous successful drowning traps. Let's see what we can manage this time. I see him! I see someone using the wheelbarrow! I'm so proud of you! Oh, let's look at the, the statue. Is it dead? Oh, I have to use this? Yes, view. A finely crafted statue of Yitab. Oh, lovely. Ah, oh, well that came out nicely. Good. And that'll be good for the temple as well. So much to do to get like all the essential rooms, like a hospital and stuff up and running. How's the stockpile? Okay, so we're away. We're there. Food, drink, we're fine. We don't need to expand their production, except obviously for the fromagerie, which is obviously very important. I think we want like, I want the fromagerie to be like a working room, right? So they make the cheese in the fromagerie, but there's also a little cafe area. Uh, with like a window into the main fortress to that main corridor so you can watch all the, the dwarves going past you can watch all the busy I'm gesturing wildly in the in real life watch all the dwarves going uh, up and down here and put some windows along here and they can sit at little tables something, something like that it'll be cute it'll be a cute thing uh, I will expand this down by one Winter is upon me. We'll see what that means for this season. I see a little white in the river. Not sure if that means it's going to freeze or what. It's interesting to know if it freezes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, so. Who's come to visit? A selection of corpses. Oh, that's a that's a goblin. Goblin something corpse. Uh, diplomat stuck here. Night butcher. So does that mean the Night Butcher is the the lead, the leader of this endeavor? Uh, let's see. Necromancer experiments, that's what it looks like. Uh, us and our recruited one week ago completely untrained military are obviously unsuited to dealing with this. So we're gonna immediately be bringing everyone back inside the fortress and waiting the siege out. Or I guess it's an attack rather than a siege, but regardless, we're gonna go hide inside and um, hope that the defenses we built don't have any gaps in. I guess we'll find out. So uh, we're gonna need to set up burrows. Not like that, like this. Add new burrow. Uh, we're going to define this burrow. We're gonna name it. And inside beautiful um maybe get like a, a symbol to really drive home the panic exclamation marks yeah that's good and then uh, make it oh not like that uh, select symbol slash color i don't know how to change the color but that's okay uh, start rank rectangle, mouse brushes one tile, currently painting, okay. So, this can, this doesn't need to include the whole turkey bit, so we'll just start like that. Uh, obviously we will need these rooms, and it's okay for me to go over the lines a little bit there. Eventually we'll want multiple burrows for like when there's a, an underground panic versus overground panic, you know? But for now I think this is sufficient. Uh, we're gonna bring this up like this. Really gonna be interesting to see if we've uh, totally sealed off this... I mean the roofs are done, 
but sometimes there's janky little diagonal gaps, you know? Uh, right, and then below is, is fine, so we'll just go like that. Okay, that seems good. Um, now, we're going to, we're gonna use a military alert. Uh, so we will add an alert named underground. Intelligent undead. So is the, is the one with the bold name the intelligent undead? Check for necromancers if you spot one, get inside and seal the door. We're gonna get inside and seal the door anyway, Rico, because we don't have a military. <laughs> Check the gaps by filling the fort with water. It would work, but <laughs> you're not wrong. My favorite kind of, you know, correct, not wrong. So we activate uh, inside, restrict everyone to the burrow. Now, I do not know how many dwarves we have outside. I would like to allow these plant gatherers to get in, but we will see... See if they manage in time. Kitten, I would not go outside. Okay, where where's the undead? They should be slow, right? They're undead. Oh no, I've lost them all. Guys, I lost all the undead. Uh, what's that? Plants. Good. Right. Guys, where did the undead go? I guess I've lost sight of them? A snatcher? Really? Over there. I mean, that's where the undead are coming from, so he's not gonna ask people always ask, where is the undead? Not How are the undead, Mafkali? Do you have some sort of insider information? Are you some sort of traitor? Who is this dwarf? Mafkali. <laughs> Could you get inside? Could you just get inside though? Could you? There, right, good. Should have just left you out there, but pull the lever, do it now. Right. Everything okay? Everyone cool? Good. Now, how are the undead, but also seriously, where, where did they go? Did they leave? That seems extremely unlikely. <laughs> I assume that the undead feel hungry. And if I'm wrong, that's my fault. Oh man, I need to drink my tea, I'm getting sore throat. They may have been scouts. Maybe. I guess one of them was, like Rico said, uh, an intelligent undead. Still, I don't really want to open the gates again yet. <laughs> like, maybe we'll, we'll open the gates in, in a bit, but... Um, oh, the river froze. That's good to know, except that bit. You know what? We're just, we're just gonna chill. We're just gonna wait a little bit. Because I know you can lose vision of creatures, right? So my concern is that we open the gates and then the undead pop back up like, oh my god, there was hiding from you. And then that disappoints me. In 
enthusiasts of cheese? Maybe. Like, there's nothing we need to do outside the fortress anyway, right? It's winter. We're gonna make cheese. We've, we've got plump helmets. What more do we need? Let's get this farm plot underway. We'll, we'll open up again in the spring, maybe, because they, they won't wait that long. They might wait that long. They probably won't wait that long. <laughs> Is what I think. Uh, oh, lovely. So this will be our meeting room. Not like that. Uh, I need to make it as large as possible. Something like that. That will do! Lovely! That's a meeting area now. What is this? Really, we got fire clay? Lovely. Light cheese. <laughs> uh, do you think if we manage to acquire light cheese, the, the liches and necromancers will leave us alone? Special pottery from that. I believe so. Uh, we will have a little check. See what we can do with it. Um, certainly we should be doing pottery, right? As a, as a fortress, we should be doing pottery. Uh, build workshop. So we need a farmer's workshop. Which is W. The special workshop that gets to be W. Uh, so we'll have... A little, a little bit of that there. We'll build a door. Still love a door, you know. Still got the dining room. I don't really know what... Uh, I'll tell you what. So this large room here, I don't really know what that's for. So we're just going to make it a custom stockpile. Not for corpses. For, for stuff. A stuff pile, if you will. Stoneware in a fromagerie gift shop. Absolutely, why wouldn't I do that? Uh, not sure if this pasture is big enough for the animals we're putting in it, actually. I think it's fine. <laughs> Probably. Again, we'll find out if the animals start starving. So, uh, build workshop. We're going to want a loom. Uh, we'll just tuck that here. And then, stockpile wise, we'll need custom stockpile. So, disable everything. And then, where is. Is it food? It's not. You don't eat. I'll wait till we've grown the pigtails and then I'll worry about it. So, not in spring, in summer, in autumn, in... not in winter, not in spring, okay. 1000 tea towels! <laughs> thousand tea towels, I'll just make a note. A thousand... Overpriced biscuits and preserves. Well, we do have all those lovely fruit trees that I've closed us off from by closing the gates. <laughs> I do think the undead are gone. I believe that the undead are gone. I want to believe that the undead are gone. Should we do it? Should we risk it? Let's risk it. Let's uh, turn off the burrow restriction. And then let us... Let's open the gate. This could be a horrible decision. 
Towels embroidered with the image of cheese. I mean, now I don't know how to make tea towels in this game, but if we use the loom. Oh, we got a mood. Nightmares had a mood. While doing carpentry, so this should hopefully be quite straightforward. Busy dwarves. It's quite satisfying to watch though. Uh, so add task, we're going to milk animals repeatedly and we're gonna make a little stockpile, make a little custom stockpile, which is for drink animal cheese. This isn't the cheese, this needs to be the, the milk. Yes, there we go. Permit. Nope, forbid, and then we permit milk. <laughs> so many options. There we go. Don't know why there's multiple entries for some of them, but that's fine. I don't think we're going to get any tapir milk, but for the sake of completeness, we should enter all the milk. So, milk stockpile. I don't think this needs to be huge because we should process it into cheese quite promptly. Simply hack the code to add them. Tell you what, you do that for me and then get back to me and then we'll talk about it. So let us block milk and we now permit cheese. Cheese plant, not a thing, obviously. Dwarven cheese, I don't know about that. Um, we will put the cheese up at the, the, the back wall maybe? And then we can have a little cafe in the front. I think that sounds good. Nightmare has begun a mysterious construction. It is gonna be a legendary footstool or something, absolutely. And I for one am looking forward to it. I would like to deconstruct these workshops slowly. Because we're building new workshops downstairs, we shouldn't need these ones anymore. Obviously Nightmare's using that one, and I will not interrupt him. Yeah, it looks like the, uh, the undead did leave. I guess they were scouting. Not sure why this isn't being dug out. The door's not blocked. I don't know. I guess there's still stuff to do over here. Hmm. Nobody's using my beautiful pie chart. Oh right, we're still really short on bedrooms. Doing all this like other stuff and I just don't have bedrooms for all my dwarves yet. Good thing we have that dormitory that we built early. I often bo don't bother, I'm like, I don't need a dormitory. We can just build beds for all the dwarves. And then I, I absolutely need it every time. We've got eight bedrooms and significantly more than eight dwarves. <laughs> it's fine. Well, at least it's benevolent leaders. I'll take it, I'll take benevolent. Uh, Nightmare has created a willow casket. Let's take a look. This is a willow casket. All crafts dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It is encircled with bands of willow and oak. On the item is an image of dwarves in willow. The dwarves are laughing. It relates to a performance of the musical adoration held by the creative relic of in Lantern Platte as part of the Golden Festival in the early winter of 99, during the 69th musical performance of the Golden Festival. That's lovely, Nightmare. Um, I'll tell you what, should we make him a little, a little crypt? <laughs> yeah, let's do that, okay. So we need to, we need to extend this anyway. Whoops, not like that. Like this. Uh, so we'll we'll fit it in with the, the next batch of bedrooms. We'll just allocate one of them to uh, Nightmare can be buried in that. We'll make him a little tomb. It'll be cute. 
as cute as tombs ever are. Yeah. I normally play with like a square texture pack, so I'm gonna keep getting confused about proportions. Uh, yeah, I know building a casket. Well, we we have just been scouted by undead, so uh, fair enough. Can't really argue. Let's extend this upwards a little bit. Let's add some more at the top. I could do some maths to figure out how many dwarves we have and how many bedrooms we need as a consequence, but I'm not. So we're just gonna keep building bedrooms and assume we don't have enough. And that usually works for me. And then, yeah. Don't think we'll stream that much longer because I have a sore throat from all this talking that I am doing. So let's stream for a bit more. <sighs> right. I just have a lot to say. <laughs> oh, paint it. Oh, you're right, Trop for Seal. I should be using the paint. I'm so sorry. I know that's the only reason you're here, so. Uh, maybe the casket is to make the undead feel welcome. Maybe it's a peace, peace offering. Oh, good point. For the fromagery, we should um, build uh, some tables and chairs. table. Let's get some chairs. Yeah. Yeah. Table. That's all we've got for now. Did I complete your mandate? Uh, your mandate was the temple to your god, which is down here. It's still in the process of being smoothed. Uh, it's called the Amethyst Sanctum. We don't have a performer. Or any instruments. It's a shrine! <laughs> it's not the best temple, but it is a temple. Oh, enjoy myself. Yes, tremendously. Thank you everyone who's joined as well. It's a good chat today. Just, it's such a good chat. Okay, the undead have gone. Where did they come from? Is a question. So that's us. bigger but I think that's fine given that where we are in the fortress uh, we should build a generic temple maybe this pie <laughs> could become a generic temple actually uh, let's make generic temple no specific deity yes you know for dwarves that are into that sort of thing Miners seem to be doing pretty well. Uh, nothing. Mining. The new one's learning. Cheese temple confirmed. <laughs> well, it does seem to be uh, thematically important for our, our fortress. Uh, let's get 30 beds. And let's just get another... 30 rock doors, get them done. We have a little more copper. Uh, I should maybe make some mining layers soon. I don't know. Right, let's build, uh, no, not build, stockpile a wood stockpile here. Then we will have the workshop and we will have not that. Is it stone? Other? Clay? No, it's not stone. 
Where, where does coal live? Oh, it does live here. Okay, hold on. Block, economic, and then we will have... Well, it's not coal. I mean, we should have coal. We need charcoal. Charcoal. <laughs> where, where does the charcoal live? Doesn't seem like it should be in in stone necessarily, but I don't know where else. Bars blocks. Oh, maybe it's bars blocks. Uh, yes. So coal and it will be other material. No. Nope. Uh, no, not blocks. Yeah, no, I think it's just coal. Just coal. Might. I, I think that's it. I think, I think that'll do. Uh, we will just dump this over the whole room and then fix it later. Oh, well, exactly, Mavcalo, in this fortress. We don't even need to do any other anything other than make cheese, really. On that note, Dorkling, have you have you milked some any animal? Oh, right, Dorkling doesn't. Right, I think we need Dorkling to milk animals as well. It's time. It's time, Dorkling. Lay down your mason's tools. For we have constructed the fromagery. Is milk forbidden from meals? Good question. Uh, not that, not that, not that. Oh, we shouldn't, we shouldn't cook these. Uh, it hasn't popped up yet because we haven't unlocked it. Once we've done some milking, I'll make sure to do it. Uh, yeah, I think this is where I should end the stream because I'm getting a sore throat. We'll stream again soon, maybe. I don't want to make any promises. Uh, what are the schedules? The cheese hath cometh. Yes, we have begun the fromagerie. I'm going to cross that off my mandate list because I, I think that counts. You know, we'll do a little more to it. But I think that counts as a start. And uh, yeah, next time cheese and maybe an undead invasion. But we'll see. Which do you prefer? I know which I prefer. Okay. Bye. <laughs>